Have you ever heard anybody say the phrase, um, you know, I've, tr- I've tried that. It doesn't work for me. You know, I was in a group of people the other day, and one of the people was bragging about their going to the gym every day. They'd been going to the gym every day for a while. And somebody in the group replied, I tried that. It doesn't work for me. And I thought, that's interesting. Because I can guarantee you that if somebody goes to the gym every day and does a solid workout, there will be a, a massive health benefit. So how is it that somebody could say that? It doesn't work for me. And, and then I reflected, you know, I've said that many, many times. <laughs> I've said that about a lot of things. Oh, I've tried that. So what does, oh, I tried that mean? So I think it comes down to this concept of faith. Now, faith is a religious connotation, like I have faith in or I practice a faith. But I'm not talking about religious you know, doctrine here. I'm talking about faith in terms of action. Like we humans have this ability to understand when something's not there, when we're missing something. It's, we're vacant or void of something. And we can envision what it would take to get what we want to replace what's not there. This is completely a human thing. So that's a real superpower that humans have, to understand what is not here. I mean, we learn it very early on. Like in our development, we learn it pretty quickly. You know, the game peekaboo is is that the whole idea of, of being able to conceptualize something that's not in existence or that something that is behind something, ob- object permanence, uh, that something will stay there. This is a real human thing. And so I'm thinking through, uh, so we have faith. We hope that if, if I do a certain action, I have faith that that action will produce results. So if I go to the gym every day, that action will produce results. We have some faith. Now, we can't assume that that faith will magically make us get to our end goal. Like, I want to look great, so I'm going to go to the gym every day. So just having that belief won't magically make that happen. I think we all know that we got to show up and we actually got to do something. Uh, But how long? Well, that's a really hard thing to quantify. But if I were to quantify it, like if if you asked me to quantify how much faith do you have to put into something before it becomes true or before it becomes a reality for you? I would say it's 180 days. I mean, do anything for 180 days consistently and it will have an impact. And by the way, if it doesn't have an impact after 180 days, I think then you could say, I tried that. Um, I really did try that. But to to shortcut yourself and not go through 100 days, a half a year, uh, and then claim that you tried it, it's just not going to work. Now, this may not be the news that we want to hear. We may want to believe that, you know, uh, uh, that my changes, my transformation is going to be in two weeks or three weeks. But the reality is you have to go through various cycles, mood swings, cycles, seasons, uh, ups and downs, life changes. You have to go through a lot in order to prove that what you're setting out to do actually is going to have a result. Now, I started studying, uh, researching some physiology, you know, data on human physiology. I didn't get very far. Um, I was going to include that in my article today, but it was too much work, so I stopped. Um, but but the but the initial looking at that data does indicate that physiological change does take quite a bit of time. I mean, it takes it, it probably takes a half a year before any program you launch into. I mean, there are some programs you'll launch into that like if you were to stop eating sugar tomorrow and you were addicted to sugar, there will be a physiological change pretty quickly, right? Or if you just stopped eating altogether, that would have a massive physiological change. But I'm talking about a sustainable repeatable physiological change that would occur probably takes 180 days of consistent practice. So anyway, think that through. What have you actually done for 180 days in a row? I bet you whatever you've done for more than 180 days in a row is probably something you're really good at. 
Um, and that's probably something that you remember and that you look fondly on. So it's really a matter of do you have the patience and will to get through a program for 180 days? That really is the question is it, 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 in order to realize the, the end, the, the purpose for your faith. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.